What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing part 2 of my build from the house from uh, Disney Pixar's movie Up. Um, so, so today we're doing the, the furnishing on the inside. So bear in mind that I sort of got a blueprint of the house and I saw where all the furniture is sort of placed. So um, I placed all the furniture according to that and I think if you guys do download this build, um, it is on the gallery. Um, I will link the description down below, but also you guys can go on the gallery. Um, my username will be in the description below, and you can just search the Frederick the Fredricksons, sorry, and um, that will um, bring up this property, and you guys can download it. But if you guys want to put a family in here, um, a few of the items because I placed the furniture according to how it is in the movie. <coughs> and how it is in the blueprint um, certain items I don't think the sims can use like um, maybe one or uh, one or two of the chairs and um, there's something else but I just can't remember it now um, but it's basically just seating that um, uh, sh could kind of be the problem um, but we'll go through that as we go through each room so we're gonna start now in the living room so obviously I don't have everything that um, identical to the items in the movie so I had to just make do with what I have but um, like I said I've placed furniture according to a furnishing bl uh, blueprint that I had um, sorry this is just me putting in the uh, move objects and stuff on um, so it was just me putting items according to the blueprint so it is sort of in the right place how it is in the blueprint so um, like the painting that I used for the top of the fireplace because we all know it's a painting that Carla <laughs> and Ellie did of Paradise Falls so I obviously don't have that painting so I just went with like a bright painting that I could find that of what I had and I just put that over the fireplace um, but obviously if you guys download this build you obviously more than welcome to make any sort of changes to the furnishing that you want make it more practical for your sims um, the items that I have put in here is very um like traditional and um sort of like and like an antique vibe because um obviously it's for an older couple um because it's based on the characters from the actual movie so um if you guys want to maybe change it up change the wallpaper the wallpaper is also meant to look sort of like old school and so is the flooring and the tiles in the kitchen and the tiles in the bathroom it's all meant to be sort of old school so um you guys are obviously welcome to do the changes but i mean if you guys want this build in your in your game it would obviously be because it's from the movie so if you guys do keep it the same that would be really awesome but more than welcome to change it so um, I do put a lot of filler items as well in the build um, that are, uh, weren't really in in the movie. <laughs> so, but on the blueprints, it like it shows a sort of table or maybe like a heater that I don't have. So I kind of fill it with with something else. Um, and now comes the iconic chairs that they have um, in the in the movie or in the game I'm uh, in the game in the uh, and on the blueprint so obviously I don't have exactly what they have because I'm I'm limited to the furniture and color swatches from the game but I got it pretty close I mean Ellie's chair is taller and Carl's is uh, more square square shaped so obviously all his furniture is square shaped and all her furniture is sort of like delicate and and you know like much nicer than his you know um, so I was battling a bit with the because um, I sh uh, I shrunk down the the table and the uh, the light, but then all, for some reason it just ended up moving and floating in the air. So um, I ended up just having to keep it normal size. You can see you can see now where the lamp is sort of not. On the table but I did place it on the table but it just moved but I think it's because I shrunk the table down so I just end up having to uh, just fix that but which I do so um, I just have to enlarge the table again to normal shape and put the light down so then also I know they've got a lot of <coughs> photos in here of them like in, in picture frames but I didn't want to add random pictures all over the house because I was 
maybe thinking like if you guys do download this build you guys can maybe take photos of the family that live here and sort of place it going up the stairs and in the living room you know um to kind of have that um that feel so um i enlarge this small tv i don't know if it's going to have problems working um like if it's going to actually play the pictures i'm not sure but like i said you guys can always cha make changes um i just wanted to get as close to the movie and to the pictures that i had as possible so um that's why all the furnishing is placed like this and it's not centered because it's just made how it is in the movie and in the blueprint so you guys can obviously make any sort of changes i mean there's more than enough space to redo the entire living room um you guys can make any any changes so that's just a little chair outside that carl sits sits on in the movie and then i'm just adding some um furniture and lighting in the um the front entrance type area so just some little knickknacks laying around and just some filler furniture just to kind of get give that lived in sort of vibe so um also in this build um well, according to the blueprint that I had for this house, um, one of the bedrooms was a nursery room, um, obviously because Carl and Ellie wanted to <coughs> have kids. But obviously in the movie, you got, we all found out that Ellie wasn't able to have uh, children. So, But I did a nursery in this room because it was in the blueprints and it is done up um, with a little like crib and stuff like that. So it's kind of like they were they did up the nursery before they found out that they couldn't have kids um i made it yellow so that it's like a neutral color whether it's a boy because i didn't know if they were going to have a boy or a girl so um i kind of done that up i kind of think that it's like kind of ties to the movie very well because um it shows that that's what they wanted in life and unfortunately it didn't really work out for them but the room is still there and maybe like they don't go in the room like it's a room that like they don't enter at all so but it's there so you guys can obviously have a start a family um in this house um and there is already a room there and then this room is actually three bedrooms but the third bedroom is utilized as like a sort of family uh family living room reading room type vibe um the original blueprint it was supposed to be a sewing room for ellie but i don't have any i don't have like any of those items in the sims 4 i'm not sure if it comes in any packs like maybe parent suit or anything i don't know i don't have that pack but i mean there's definitely no sewing kit in the base game so and i know we are i th i think we are getting like a knitting pack um i don't know if that's happening still or whatever but um it's called like nifty knitting or something like that if i'm not correct you can correct in the comments below but um so maybe when that comes out like it comes with a sewing kit and you guys can maybe just change that room into a sewing room but for now it's just a family space so this kitchen was built exactly to the blueprint even the cabinets and the the counters is all based on where it is in the blueprint so um if you guys want me to maybe upload the blueprint onto my Twitter page um, so that you guys can have access to it or if you guys want to like check it out you can just let me know in the comments below I'll definitely upload it for you guys um, these uh, these shelves that I put here um, were not all in the blueprint I just used it to sort of fill the space um, you know to add like maybe the like the dining plates and whatever because it's supposed to be have this whole old school kind of vibe to it so um now i'm just adding the little dining room table the dining room table in the movie and in the blueprint is more oval shaped but i didn't really have that shape in the furniture that i had so i just went with a round one and then just added this nice little cabinet with the dining plates on and then i just add a few little like clutter items in the you know on the kitchen countertops not too many i think i had like three i had a little that like the knives and the the kitchen utensils and just a little plant uh tea sort of decoration there that maybe ellie made herself because we know that she is autistic and she likes to paint so maybe she made that herself then i added those leashes in there um as decorations and the little pet ball because we all know in the movie that carl ends up adopting doug it's a dog that he finds so maybe if you guys want to add that in because maybe in a perfect world ellie's still alive and they have a dog 
so i just like to think you know that's really awesome and then i just made this a little sort of um because in the blueprints it had a chair there and like a, a cabinet type thing so i just made it a little reading corner or a corner where they can just come and sit and relax and um just maybe read a book or just think about certain things i'm not sure then the bathroom's also completely done to the blueprint that i had um you we don't really see the bathroom and all that stuff in in the actual movie um but it was just done to a sort of blueprint maybe someone's built this house for like for real and like lives in it and maybe the blueprint was sort of array uh, like done for them but um i got the blueprint of of uh pinterest so um i just sort of went with that because I mean, it's a blueprint for this actual house. So I just went with whatever the blueprint had and I tried to make it as close as possible, you know, to the items that I have in game that I could maybe use. So um, the one thing that I forgot to add is a laundry um, stuff to do laundry with. I was going to have the old school like laundry thing where you like scrub it with your hands, but I forgot to add that outside. Um, so um, you guys can just add that in the bowl then this is the little nursery room that I built I wish we had better cribs um, I just add a little teddy bear in there I don't know if you have to move it if you have a baby um, but I just thought it would make a nice little item but I just wish we had more stuff for babies like we did in the sims 2 like where we had cribs and a, a, a place to change diapers and stuff like that like there's a lot of items that were taken away and maybe maybe if an update does come or a pack does come where they've upgraded babies maybe they'll add some more furniture in I don't know I hope so because um, it would really be awesome but um, I didn't do too much to the room because obviously they would have gotten more stuff um, as they like as their baby grew but we but because they didn't have kids the room is kind of left as is and it doesn't really have much in it so um, you guys will just have to add like i think um a toddler's toilet and stuff like that to the room but i just added the basics you know for a baby not for a, not for um not for a toddler so just the basic that the base oh excuse me the basics that they might have um you know collected when they found out that they were trying to have a baby so so yeah it's pretty sad in the movie that they like couldn't have kids but it kind of adds to the the concept of the story um that just makes their love so much stronger um so if you guys haven't seen the movie um i've kind of like done a lot of spoilers in part one and part two so i apologize for that but i mean it's an old movie so i'm pretty sure basically everyone has seen it but if not i definitely recommend you go check it out and i am sorry if i spoiled anything for you um so this is just again obviously the different types of furnishing because his furnishing is always square and hers is always like more delicate and more like fancy so um that's why there's all different type of furnishings in the house and i think it actually adds a lot of um a lot of personality that to to the house like it's half his personality and half her personality you know and then a lot of the items are like sort of like artsy type that maybe she could have painted herself and you know added her little touch to the house so um but it really looked nice um once the family's moved in here and there's sort of photos taken of the family that just adds will add some more personality to the house which will be um, really, really awesome. So just made this little sort of vanity section where Ellie maybe gets done um, in the morning. So um, I don't know if she, if you can sit on that chair. I'm not too sure if it, I mean, I just put it there for decoration, um, but it, like it is according to the blueprint that I had um, on the house. So um, like I said, there are a few items that you guys might have to move or like replace for your sims to use it but i mean the bed and the bathroom and the kitchen and everything like that is completely functional it's just basically ellie's chair in the in the in the in the living room i don't know if she can sit because the sort of that um foot piece is in the blueprint she's got a foot a foot piece where she puts her feet on so i kind of sized down the little stool so i don't know if you'll have to delete that in order for the sim to sit there but i mean probably have to because the sims are really fussy we know that so um this is just the third bedroom that i turned into like a sort of living room relax relaxing room um so nothing 
too fancy or anything in there it's just a normal uh room that just this was supposed to be the sewing room so that can obviously be changed once we get that pack so it's just a nice little room where they can come and spend some time and relax and read some books or chat about their day and um or it can be a room for storage you know like extra furniture that they had and they didn't know where to put it so um but i really had a lot of fun with this build and um I just want to thank everyone that supported me in part one. Um, I definitely hope that you enjoy part two. And don't forget to download this. It is on the gallery. It will be in the description below. You guys can go check that out. And um, you guys can download this for yourself and play in it. And um, definitely make some changes if you want to. But now we're going to just head into the screenshots. Um, so you guys can just uh, get a sort of an overlook of, of how I did the, the build. Um, this is my favorite screenshot just with the two chairs there. I mean, that's like an iconic piece in the movie as well. Um, I wish there was sort of another painting that I could have used for over the fireplace. But like I said, I did the best with what I with what I could. And um, I, I think it really turned out really great. I mean, you can see that it is from the movie. I mean, it's not like I made it totally different or modern inside. Like you can see it is that from the movie. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys do, do download this off the gallery. And don't forget to leave a like guys, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really close to hitting 100 subscribers, so I'm almost there. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.